What's up everybody, it's your boy Whirlwind, and it is 4 o'clock in the morning, and I'm here recording to get you some double XP, fellow artists. Okay, what do I mean by double XP? Experience and exposure, come on. Run with me with it. So some of the things I happened to do when I was growing up while trying to get my exposure out there and my experiences, I would happen to be a major show off. Show off as in how most of my artwork. Granted, I had tons and tons of notebooks and portfolios of nothing but my best artwork. Ink, pencil, uh, very rarely colored, but my inks and pencils are usually what got me the jobs. I know getting business through Instagram, Facebook, and uh, YouTube, and other means of like Twitter, can be very hard to actually, you know, gain business, especially when it comes down to being a freelancer. So here's some extroverted tips that can definitely help you out when we're back and walking the streets. One of my most favorite places that I like to get business was basically chilling at Waffle House. Uh, at certain times, since I was older and not exactly a kid, I would spend hours and hours through midnights and sometimes just afternoons just drinking coffee and having a waffle all freaking day. One of my best memories is me actually taking a lot of my hardcore sketches, artwork, and just portfolios and just littering tables all freaking day and just planting myself right there in the high traffic areas just so anybody could actually just see my stuff. I'd get tons of stoppers to just compliment my work and then I ended up getting those few that were very valuable to me. Clients. So first comes the exposure. Exposure, basically me throwing out all my cool junk onto the dining room table and just showing off my own work. A lot of cases, it was just me being messy and just me fronting all my work. Literally. Now, when it comes down to this exposure, you're going to gain some experience. Getting clients. Yes and no's. And you're going to get turned down when you happen to have an over-expected price. Or an under-expected price. Out of this double XP, in my experience, I have lowballed myself. Aww. Plus, I've also been too expensive for most. This microphone is really nice. I mean, dude, if it were blue, this thing would remind me of, like, you know, a bug zapper. Seriously. I don't know. It's a little mesmerizing. It looks orange in the camera, but this thing is a beautiful crimson. One of my favorite colors, technically. If you know, I sport my red, black, and white, like Skylark, because... It's my boy and my favorite colors all together in one. I think I did a really good choice on this actual uh, microphone. I like it. I bet my stuff sounds better. There's always going to be those type of requesters that's going to ask you for things that is not in your portfolio. So make sure you let them down and tell them that, hey, what I do here is what you see. I'm not going to be your Disney copy, your Toriyama copy, or any sort of thing like that. Now, those that happen to have a style like other artists that you admire is nothing wrong with that. But do be aware that there will be people that will shun you for that and just have thick skin. I have tons of people that just constantly just say that I'm an anime artist when I'm clearly a Western Eastern. My style mixes between both Japanese and American. As you go through these experiences, you're going to be able to see what kind of people you're going to be working with. You're going to get the knowledge of just working business for yourself. And this can be a very beneficial thing throughout your growth of becoming a more sturdy and stable artist. When going through this exposure and experience, you're going to get to learn yourself and learn things about the business that's going to help you out beneficially. And in all things of life, learning is a good thing. And being able to fix your own problems and fix other people's problems is a good thing of life. 
it benefits you, it benefits others, and it just makes the world go round. Also, make some time to do some free work for some people. Pick your people and make sure that you can also grab some things for portfolio additions when you have downtime and you're not working with other clients. I tend to do some of that myself. I tend to grab work from the people that I want to actually do work for in generous occasions to make sure I keep things up to date in my portfolio. And when I'm adding new experiences into the things that I do on the social media and photography room. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up. Go ahead and uppercut that like button, share, and subscribe. And this is your boy Whirlwind, and I am out. Speaking of XP, double XP, experience, I don't, you know, maybe, I don't know, I'm talking to the camera here. Yeah, I'm talking to you guys, but I'm talking to me too. Uh, my weirdest customers, I think I might make that a video next. You, you know what, if you made it to the end of this, leave me a 1010 in the comments to let me know that you want to hear about weird customers.